only y'all could see <laughs> the tripod that I have set up. Yikes. It is like 4.25. I have to be there by 6. So I have to put my makeup on. <clears throat> I honestly feel tired. Even though all I've done is sleep. This is my super quick makeup routine. I'm gonna try to be in the center of this because my makeup's done here. So my dark spots, as you can see, are so super f visible even though I've been to the dermatologist many a times. You told me that the only way it's gonna really stop is laser hair removal. So if anybody wants to pay for that, let me know. Okay. Get everything out first. I'm not trying to dig. It's gonna be super fast. I can't let these people know all of me. And I'm gonna have to come home and take this makeup off. You know, I just got out of the shower and take another shower, so I'm not gonna do a whole lot to myself. Okay, this is what I've been using right now. I've been Skin RX. Been using it for a few years. It has not done. Sh I use it up until I can use my Fenty skin and then use what the dermatologist gave me because I'm all about using stuff first that you had longest. I'm getting better at talking myself. Oh, they say you should go up. Up. Okay. Well. I saw this trick on Twitter. It said if you put powder and then setting spray and then your primer and then setting and then powder and then setting spray and then your foundation you look like a bad bitch. all those times i'm only trying to go half bad bitch. i'm only gonna do that one time i bought a new setting spray where I'm just realizing that hoe's not up here. Maybe she's down here. Oh, she is. Nice. Okay. Um, no, I'm not even gonna do that. I'm just gonna go straight up. Okay, usually I try to mask. This is NYX. Can't stop, won't stop. Concealer. Oh, I'm pretty much out of it. It's pretty much completely out. But I just try to get the darkest spot on my face. Mm. Sometimes, sometimes I will blend out with a, a blender. Not today. So I'm going to go straight in with my foundation. This is Milani Conceal and Perfect in the shade Warm Sand. I don't think this is my shade. This next one is in Golden. <clears throat> Who cares? What the fuck? I'm doing on my face. Okay. Very quick. Um, if I'm really trying to do my face, I will definitely do my eyes first, lashes first, before I even do foundation. I have horrible PTSD from a situation where my whole face was done and I was, someone was trying to put lashes on me, got lash glue all over my face and I had no tools, tools to fix it. Ever since then, face after eyes. Not today, because <clears throat> like I said, what I say, we're going to have bad Exactly. I've had this Jaclyn Hill palette since like 2017. It's probably not even good for me anymore, but what do we do? We use first what we've had the longest. <sighs> yeah. Um. So I basically just wanted to come on here and talk I really wanted to like sit down at the table, maybe I still will. I still have things to talk about. 
My allergies are kicking my ass. Excuse my voice. It is turning to winter. Um, but I have just been feeling super drained. I don't know about anybody else. I am 26 and this year has whooped me harder than what I've experienced in a long time. And I don't know if it's because of COVID and like all my plans, every single plan that I had kind of went to sh or because I'm getting older and like, I just want to accomplish my dreams already, but it has put me in a very hardcore depressive episode that I can't seem to get out of. Um, and that is really messing with me creatively. It is messing with me mentally, obviously. Um, physically, in my body, I don't sleep well. I'm not communicating very well. Um, Sean has been such an angel, but I know that it has been difficult. He's going through a lot of physical pain as well. Oh, why did I just do that again? Because I'm talking and not thinking. Because I definitely didn't need to do that again. Um, on Me has been on MTV EU for three months. I don't think it's on anymore. But that was such an accomplishment for middle school me. Oh, wow. Who used to... That's all I used to do on weekends was watch music videos. Um, but because nothing has worked out the way that I thought it was going to, um, the Capricorn in me is like thrown for a fucking loop. I had to go back to a job, even though in 2020 I had like made a post and made a goal like, no more nine to five. And I was able to handle that for about almost a year. Um, but sales just haven't been. I changed management and things that I thought were gonna be released this year are pushed back to next year. Contracts that I thought were gonna be signed months ago have yet to show in my face. Um, and so I've just gotten very discouraged. A lot of the shows I was planning to do got canceled because of COVID. Um, but then it's frustrating because I still see people performing. And so it's like, why my shows? Why my, why the venues that I'm ready to perform on? Perform at whatever. You get, you get what I'm saying. Um, today was the first day in months that I have written music. What's wrong with this eyebrow? She a hot mess. Whoa. I was going back to my old, my old uh, voice recordings and I actually wrote some hits. Half hits, anyway. But I don't know where the beats are that I wrote them to. But anyways, I don't know if anybody else is feeling this way. <clears throat> I don't know if they're feeling this way because of COVID or time just went back and we have another hour, so it gets dark at five. I know that messes with a lot of people's mentals. Um, but my creati my creativity is just lacking. Also, a huge part is the last like few years, well, especially the last year, I've been very focused on the business side of Shannon Siona as a brand. Being the CEO of my own whatever, it sounds amazing, but it is um, a lot. And trying to juggle that and paying rent and sustaining your bills and sustaining somewhat of a social life, even though your friends are all far away and that makes you lonely too. And trying to satisfy your partner and be the partner back. Uh, oh, I should have shaved my mustache my sideburns oh well 
really, really going to have that. Um, okay, anyways, let me hurry up and finish this makeup and we'll just sit down and chat. Try and find the balance. Good on my own, don't need no assistance. I'm just pursuing the balance. Acting a lady, thinking like a savage. Trying so hard to make that shit a habit Trying, finding the balance Acting a lady, thinking like a savage Trying, finding the balance Good on my own, don't need no assistance I'm just pursuing the balance Acting a lady, thinking like a savage So basically, anyway, it's a dream of mine and Sean's uh, to own land one day and build a conservation for critically endangered species. And we're very serious about that. And that's really a dream of mine, along with obviously singing and touring and changing the world and giving people a safe space and saving our planet. You know, just little goals. <laughs> I put so much pressure on myself and I've given myself such a deadline, especially about age, oy. But then I'm so exhausted that I don't practice. I don't put into practice. Also, I'm very broke. <laughs> um, my therapist told me that I'm, I need to get over the vision that singing might pay my bills. That for me was like, <clears throat> How dare you fucking say that to me? But the other half of me is like, bro, maybe that's your reality. And that really is heartbreaking. But if it's by taking care of animals, I guess it's not that bad. Because things just aren't working out. And it's very exhausting. Um, In positive news... Oh, yeah, because I was... Like, I was trying to go back to school... <laughs> very expensive I don't really know what I'm doing with my life at this point so a very confusing time and that is not easy to translate to songwriting songs songwriting writing songs but like I said positive note I at least have a concept for the next project I've decided no longer am I going to, I'm not worried about if it's an EP or an album, it's just a body of what I can give at this point because everything is very draining. The world is very negative and scary and doomsy and I don't want to that sounds real ghetto. <laughs> That's not the type of peace. That's not peace. I'm just trying to have some peace in my life. In my head. Because I have peace in my life. Sean is peace. My dogs are peace. Well, as you can see, it's a few days later. My uh, phone camera told me that I had no more storage. So if anybody would like to get me a camera for Christmas, that would be wonderful. So this is my outro. I hope you enjoyed my little rant talk, whatever you'd like to call it. 
I hope you all have a wonderful rest of your week. Um, I pray for nothing but blessings for you and your family during these holiday times. Stay safe, stay clean, make sure you sanitize those hands. Love, peace, and booty grease. Don't forget the booty grease. And until next time.